Dragon Rider, 1997, a children's novel by Cornelia Funk, follows a silver dragon named Fire Drake, a brownie named Sorrel, and a human boy named Ben, who must join together to search for a mythical area in the Himalayan mountain range known as the Rim of Heaven. They are seeking a safe location for Fire Drake's family to live after they discover that humans are going to flood the valley in which he and the other dragons live. On their journey over distant lands and shining seas, the trio encounters strange new creatures, a merciless villain bent on ending their quest, and a secret destiny they never could have imagined. When the book opens, we meet Fire Drake, a young dragon who lives with other dragons in a hidden valley just outside of London. He learns that nearby humans are planning to flood the valley and realizes the dragons are no longer safe there. After receiving guidance from the oldest member of his dragon clan, Fire Drake decides to set off to find the legendary Rim of Heaven, a fabled haven where all dragons can go. Fire Drake heads to London alongside his friend Sorel, who is a brownie, which is a kind of spirit, in order to locate Gilbert Greytail, a map-making rat. Soon after he lands on the docks of London, Fire Drake rescues Ben, a young orphan boy, from dangerous dock workers. To repay him, Ben gives Sorrel human clothes so she can wear a disguise as she searches for Gilbert, while Fire Drake hides. Sorrel finds and pays Gilbert for a map that leads to the Himalayas. Gilbert marks dangerous areas they will encounter along their journey. Fire Drake and Sorrel decide to take Ben along with them, and the three set off into the night. The only time Fire Drake can travel because the moonlight allows him to fly. Ben and Sorrel argue about when they should turn eastward, and they wind up landing in a mountain range that is full of dwarves. Fire Drake rests while the sun is up, and as he sleeps, a dwarf Gravelbeard runs to a nearby castle to inform Nettlebrand of their presence. Also known as the Golden One, Nettlebrand is a fearsome monster who lives to hunt, kill, and eat dragons. Nettlebrand decides to follow the trio in the hopes of finally killing the last of the dragons, which he failed to do decades before. Firedrake, Sorrel, and Ben continue their journey but, finding themselves off course, arrive on the shores of Egypt. There, they meet Professor Greenbloom, a scientist who gives them two cold metallic scales, which, unknowingly, once belonged to Nettlebrand. The trio seeks information about the Rim of Heaven from a djinn, who tells them to look for a path that is marked by the Indus River, a mountain range, and a monastery. The djinn also gives them a mysterious prophecy about Ben, who must break the moonlight on the stone dragon's head. As the three set off, a lunar eclipse occurs, and Fire Drake cannot fly. The group falls, landing on the back of a sea serpent. She agrees to take them to Pakistan, where they plan to meet Zubaydah Kalib, a dracologist who can teach Fire Drake how to fly without moonlight. In Pakistan, they meet Zubaydah and also find Professor Greenbloom. They compare information and realize that Nettlebrand is hunting for the Rim of Heaven, and following Fire Drake in the hope of being led there. Dr. Caleb tells the legend of a dragon rider, revealing that Ben is his reincarnation destined to save the dragons. She also shows Fire Drake a flower that collects moonlight as dew drops on its leaves. Fire Drake drinks the dew and is then able to fly during the day. The two groups part, meanwhile, Nettlebrand continues to pursue them. Soon, Fire Drake and his friends come upon a valley, where they meet Lola Greytail, Gilbert Greytail's niece, who is also a cartographer. She guides them to the monastery in the Jinn's vision. There, they are greeted by monks, who view the dragon's visitation as a sign of good fortune. Ben fulfills the Jinn's prophecy by breaking a moonstone, which summons a brownie named Burberchon. He agrees to take the trio to the Rim of Heaven. They arrive at the dragon's cave in the Rim of Heaven and discover that all but one dragon, Mia, have been turned into stone due to the lack of moonlight. They come upon the dwarf Gravelbeard, whom they overpower and take as a prisoner. As Nettlebrand heads their way, no one knows how they will defeat him because he is twenty times stronger than one dragon and immune to their fire. Sorrel, whose saliva is incredibly sticky, spits on one of the golden scales Professor Greenbloom gave to Ben. Fire Drake then breathes fire on it, which reduces it to gold paint, causing the group to develop a plan. They free Gravelbeard, who returns to Nettlebrand. Nettlebrand orders the dwarf to polish his armor, but the armor polish has been replaced with Sorrel's spit. When Nettlebrand enters the dragon's cave, Fire Drake, Mia, and Lola dive bomb him, and the dragons then set Nettlebrand aflame. Sorrel's spit dissolves Nettlebrand's armor, and he is destroyed. 
The dwarf reveals he knows a way to reawaken the dragons, and in a few days, they are brought back to life. The group flies back home to retrieve the rest of the dragons. Ben goes to live with Professor Greenbloom and his family. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.